right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the grand finals of the American Cup number four for Raid Call EMS Summer 1. We've got Evil Geniuses versus Team Dignitas, two American powerhouses here. It's a best of three series. Thank you for joining us here on Neo Dota. My name is Mont. We've got a couple of bands already going for EG. They've got the Lone Druid. Team Dignitas, they've got the Nakes going as well. Pretty standard band so far. See if anything crazy comes up, but both teams showing their dominance in the past few games. EG, of course, against KP, pretty difficult opponent. They came out on top. Team Dignitas against typical mistakes. Pretty good game for them. Snaking, of course, on that Doom. And Universe had some great ice paths there on that Jakiro. So we'll see how it does go in this next game. Codal band coming up from Team Dignitas. So... If you enjoyed the games, go ahead and purchase up the Raid Call EMS Summer 1 ticket. It's in the Dota TV store. You can pick that up and watch the game. Inside Dota TV, where you'll have free reign of camera control. Nice vision. It's just like watching the real thing. EG's going to have a ban here Ten in a minute. Seconds remaining. And by the way, that ticket can be used for not only the American Cups, but the European Cups as well as, well as the uh, American, Five of course, playoffs, the European playoffs, things of that nature. So a good ticket. You guys should pick it up. Reserve. So, Gyrocopter Band coming up from EG. The IO for Team Dignitas going to come out for the EG's turn to pick. for them. They uh, love playing that hero. In combination with heroes, of course, like CK. Like Tiny. And uh, they've done it in pretty great fashion. I believe in the last time these guys played uh, in the Raid Call EMS 1 Cups, we saw Team Dignitas pick up the O, the IO, if you will. EG's going to go ahead and pick up the Bat Rider. Definitely a frustrating EG's hero to play against. To pick. And EG's going to get another pick on top of that. Five seconds remaining. So EG are grabbing up the Bat Rider there. They also have another pick up here. So you're probably going to send that Bat Rider mid. That's going to make it really rough for Team Dignitas. Or whatever mid they pick up here, there's not a whole lot you can do against the Bat Rider. He's going to have a nice control over that mid lane. Especially if Demon's playing it. They can send him off lane if they want to. And then pick up something like a Templar Assassin, which we've seen Demon do very frequently as of recent. So, this is a best of three series. This is game number one, by the way. 58 seconds left here, of course, on reserve time. I'm really thinking about the second pick. Shadow They'll pick up the Shadow Demon again. Team Dignitas, will they go for something like the Jakira once again? Have Universe play it? We'll see. Do they want to pick up the CK? It doesn't seem like EG's too concerned about the IO and whatever they decide to put with it. It's going to be Dark Seer for their first pick, and then there's the CK coming out from the side of Dignitas. So Dignitas immediately picking up that Dark Seer, followed by that Chaos Knight. They've got a good lineup so far. The vacuum can be super effective with that wall replica as well. Chaos Knight. Well, he's going to be all over the place once Io and him get six. Specifically, Io, Chaos Knight. Doesn't really get, of course, the Phantasm until you level up the Chaos Bolt as well as the Reality Rift first. Evil Geniuses, they've got a pick here as well. They've got a Shadow Five Demon, they've got a Bat Rider. Remaining. They might pick up support, they might pick up an Offlander, they might pick up a carry. And they've got a lot uh, of choices here. Reserve time. Meanwhile, EG, if they pick up. It doesn't matter really what they pick up here. They'll probably start banning out mids so Team Dignitas can't take them. Specifically, something like the Puck. Um, just so that they don't have that against the Bat Rider, things like that. 30 seconds left for EG on reserve time. They're using a lot of it here. Juggernaut. Not that's a big deal. Juggernaut's going to go as well. That'll be nice to have. Great that uh, usage of the Healing Ward is certainly going to be effective. I mean, the Healing Ward is just such a great spell. Omni Slash is going to provide a lot of damage early on, especially against a little bit of a squishier heroes like the IO. And Blade Fury as well will be nice. With that Demonic Purge in tow. Jakiro Band coming up from the side of Team Daily Toss. They're just going to get rid of supports here, essentially. They need some supports as well for themselves. They've got the Darkseer and the Io. They need another, like, they need another hard support, essentially. EG, in the meantime, they need another support on their own right. They have the Bat Rider, which they'll probably put mid. They can put it in the off lane. Uh, Nature's Prophet might be picked up here for Radiant either Team Divitas or EG. They do already have that Dark Seer, so I don't think they have a whole lot of room to run that, but EG could certainly pick it up if they want. Nature's Prophet's seen a lot of play recently, so. There's going to be the Templar Assassin ban. 
Jesus. Also interesting, Nyx has uh, not been banned yet. It's not made it through. Just yet. Yeah. Potentially could be. Nope, there it is. Nyx Assassin Band coming up for EG right on Q. Can get rid of that support. Pretty smart there. Just make sure they don't have that uh, really annoying hero to deal with. The Templar Assassin Band we already talked about. Team Dignitas with one more band. EG with one band as well. Then we jump into the game. The previous game was a little bit of a farm fest for seen, for the side of Team Dignitas. They ran, of course, that defensive tri lane, snaking, getting farm, essentially. Not a whole lot of action early on as compared to the EG game versus KP. There's a little bit more action there, but uh, this looks to be a, a more gank-heavy game for the side of the Team Dignitas. They have the eye, they've got the CK. They're going to be looking for kills. They've got re relocate going for them, so and that'll be something that they're going to look to do early Ten and seconds. often. Once they can get level 6 on that wisp, get him to get relocate up and just send him and CK somewhere. Five seconds and just start remaining. obliterating people, essentially. Meanwhile, going to head to reserve time real quick for EG. 1 minute and 23 seconds there. I don't think we're going to see another race card kind of build from the side of Snaking like we saw in the previous game. If you're just joining us, Snaking went Sanjin Yasha, Drum, Phase, uh, what else? Well, eventually he went Boots of Travel. He got the Centaur Khan Aura on uh, the Doom. So, and Evil Geniuses respects that and bans it out, essentially. So, pretty smart there. This uh, Weaver is going to get banned from the side of Team Dignitas. Chen's going to get picked up here. So, it is going to be a, a defensive dual lane coming out from Ion Chaos Knight. Chen will be in that jungle. Darkseer probably in the off lane. Unless they want an offensive tri lane, I don't think that's going to happen. It, it, it's a possibility, but not going to happen, probably. So, meanwhile, Team Dignitas, they've got one pickup. EG's got two. They've got the Jug. They've got the Shadow Demon. They've got the Bat Rider. Need another support here. Chen's already been picked up for Team Dignitas. They could potentially pick up another hero here for like a side lane or something like that. They're going to pick up the Dragon Knight, so that could potentially be part of a tri lane that could potentially be mid. That's kind of surprising, actually. I, I like that pickup because you don't really know where they're going with it. I think that's going to be part of the tri lane. They like sending Jao with that Dragon Knight. We saw it yesterday. Uh, put Jao in a tri lane with like Shadow Demon or somebody else, and you can even give them a solo safe lane if they want to do an uh, aggressive tri lane or something like that. Bat Rider, I'm pretty sure, should go mid. Actually, Ten he could seconds. go off lane. I'm not 100% sure, though. Remaining. If they do an aggressive tri lane with like Juggernaut, Five Shadow Demon, and another remaining. hero, they'll send uh, DK down into uh, the top Reserve lane time. and just give him some free farm there in the solo safe lane. Meanwhile, Team Dignitas, they're going to use some reser reserve time of their own, so. This is going to be an interesting game here. I'm looking forward to uh, see T Evil Geniuses run some interesting lanes here. Team Daily Toss, they're a little bit more well-rounded in their lineup. You know exactly where everybody's going unless they pick up some ridiculous hero here, which you... I mean, it's got to be a mid hero at this point, you'd imagine. You could send Darks or mid, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's not like they're going against a Templar Assassin or anything. 42 seconds left on reserve time for them. And then, of course, there's only 26 reserve time seconds left for Evil Geniuses. Queen it's going to be the Queen of, of Pain, so that's going to be their mid hero. EG's and that did make it through. The Sonic Wave is going to be nice to have. Uh, I mean, just the magical damage coming out from the Queen of Pain. The problem being Juggernaut with Blade Fury, it's not going to be affected by a whole lot of that magical damage. DK is also pretty tanky inherently. Bat Rider is pretty tanky as uh, far as intelligence heroes go. So I like the pickup, but against Bat Rider, it's kind of a wash. I think Bat Rider should have a little bit of a better time. You can blink away from the Sticky Napalm Strikes, but still. 10 seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Five and seconds. EG, they've remaining. got another pick to go. What's it gonna be? Twenty-five reserve seconds left in reserve time. time. I'm thinking support here, but I'm not hundred percent sure, so Uh, the Enigma. Team pick. That's the pickup for the side of EG. Very interesting. Going to see how they land this in just a second. Thank you for joining us here on Neo Dota. My name is Mont. Really excited to bring you a best of three series for the Raid Call EMS Summer 1 Cup number four. EG versus Dignitas. We're going to jump in the game. Here we go. Very excited for this game. On the side of EG, we're going to see Demon on that Bat Rider. Game is paused. Bambo will be on the Juggernaut. Fear will be on the Enigma, Jaya will be on the Dragon Knight, and Beat is on the Shadow Demon. On the side of Dignitas, we're going to see Universe on the Queen of Pain heading bottom. Snaking will be on the Darkseer. Way Too Sexy will be on the Chen. AY2000 will be on the Chaos Knight, and Fog will be on the Io. 
Are they going to do a duel in mid? It looks like they will. They're going to send AUI 2000, I believe the Wisp, mid right now. This gives a solo safe lane for Universe. And it's going to be off lane for Snake King. Chen will be in the jungle, so you don't see this whole often. I mean, they're going to just try to stop the farm of Demon as much as possible. He is definitely going to be going mid, I'd imagine. Jay is going to be up here with Bambo right now. I'm not really sure how they're going to land this just yet. Beat is going to be up here. Is this going to be a support juggernaut? No, it looks like it's going to be an off lane juggernaut or something like that, or an aggressive tri lane. Bringing up the rear is Fear. Fear should be in the jungle, so this should be a defensive tri lane. And then, I don't know, actually, it could be off lane jug. I'm not 100% sure. They could actually send Fear offlane if they wanted to, but I'm pretty sure they're going to send Jug offlane. Bambo is that offlane player for the side of EG, so they're just trying to some interesting strategies here. Snaking's going to be up here in the top lane, so he'll be up against a, a tough lineup, essentially. He might start in the jungle, but then again, of course, that's not going to give a whole lot of room for Chen, so AUI 2000's roaming on through. It looks like he will be mid for the time being. Way too sexy and fogged. The battle begins. Sitting staring at one another. There's the invis rune. Looks like way too sexy is just gonna grab that. Or just, you know, make sure that Jug can't grab it. Bambo's gonna come down here in the bottom lane. He wants to grab it. He's getting very close. He's taking a lot of right click though. He's just like, ah, I'm having second thoughts about that. Way too sexy, he will pick it up. Visibility. Immediately just using that one second of right click damage there. is gonna be mid actually, so it's gonna be J.O. mid and it's gonna be Bambo or Demon, excuse me, up in the top lane. And so, Wisp CK will be here to try to stop Jo's farm here, essentially. Beatus is going to throw down this lane ward here. There's nobody up here yet for the side of Dignitas. Snake Kang is going to make his way through. He's not going to start in the jungle, surprisingly. And this is a tri lane that he's going up against. They do have vision here. They're going to see him walk right through the river. Not really concerned about that. Down to the bottom lane. Universe taking some damage. He didn't go for Blink first, by the way. Taking a bit of damage from that Blade Fury. He's fine, however. Universe trying to exchange right click, however. In the mid lane, two last hits for AUI 2000 right now. Two for Demon up in the top lane. Demon's going to be getting some farm. He's not going to get the quick experience that you would like to have on a Bat Rider, but nevertheless, it's going to be okay because Beatus is pulling. You have a Fear in the jungle as well. He's going to be able to get some farm himself. So this is a definitely an interesting game where both teams are just okay with going for jungle heroes at this point. Fear going to be uh, on that. Uh, anyway, he's going to be aggressive early on probably, getting some nice black holes. He's going to be going for that soul ring, as you can see. Just needs, of course, the uh, Sage's Mask, and he'll get that. Fogged here, just making sure AUI 2000 gets as much farm as possible. Fogged will probably try to get those rooms at the 2-minute and 4-minute and thereonabouts. Beat is, of course, he's got... Level 1's going to skill up that Shadow Poison. Snaking did pull. So, Beat is just trying to steal this. The Iron Shell's going to do a bit of damage to him, but not a whole lot. Going to throw up that Shadow Poison, get it up to 2 sacks there. Snaking on him. Thinking about grabbing that last hit. Beat is going to get chased after him by Snaking. Beat is will get the last hit on that uh, that creep there. So Snaking gets denied that golden experience. Which one to a certain extent. AUI 2000. He's going to continue to get some CS. He's got 11 right now, so he's doing okay for himself. Meanwhile, Fear's got 9 CS. Demon has 9 as well. 8 for Universe down at the bottom lane. Chen's nearby. He's got, of course, that Seder Hellcaller. He's going to throw that Shockwave out. So... Bambo can't get too close, but it is solo safe lane universe versus solo safe or solo off lane, excuse me. Bambo, of course, he's got Blade Fury, he's got that one point to healing ward that's gonna be important to have. Snaking can't get too close right now. He's sitting at level two, so he does have that point in surge, but that might not be enough if he gets caught out. If Fear decides to roam through with that Malface, hit him up with that Malface, Snaking will probably be in a bad position. Malface is so good because it's not it's not that one stun, it does give you that multiple stuns, even if you're surged. It does stop you multiple times, so that's something that's nice that you can think about with a... Uh, uh, of course, you're also going to have a black hole at level 6, so there's that as well. Fear's going to go ahead and stack. His soul ring's done. It's on the uh, inventory. It's going to get sent to him by the courier. He's also going to purchase up a smoke of deceit as well, so that'll be nice to have. <laughs> Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Down in the bottom lane. Pulls going through. Chen, way too sexy. Get a... Help out. Bambo is actually very low in health. He's going to have to get out of there. So he's going to go back and regen right now. So that's going to be some CS loss, some experience loss as well. Universe getting more CS right now. He's sitting at 13. AUI 2000 in the mid lane. He's at 19 right now. Fog's helping him out in that mid lane, as you can see. Up at the top lane. Snaking playing that off lane role right now. Of course, uh, he's going to throw up an iron shell on one of these creeps there. Or just on himself. But now they're chasing after him. There's the flame break. Going to push him back. He can surge himself away. There's no lasso just yet. Snaking can still surge. Not using it just yet. But he might be in some trouble here. Sticky Napalm still going. TP now rotation coming through. There's the disruption coming in through as well. 
the Shadow Poison and the Flame Break. That'll be first blood. Beat is grabbing that. Fog wants one kill at least. The Spirit's doing a lot of damage. Beat is getting chased. The Spirit's not able to hit. Beat is roaming through, but Fog's going to come right next to him. There's the Soul Catcher on Fog, by the way. Fog's still taking a lot of right-click damage. Poison's going through. Fog in some trouble as Demon's coming through right now. Tethered to a creep. Snaking TPing back up here, as you can see. Game's going to get paused real quick as Beat is going to pause the game. Lag calls out. Fierce coming through with that Malefice. Ghost as Demon. We're waiting. Here we go. Unpause coming in right now. Shadow Poison doing a lot of damage there. Meanwhile, Demon taking the spirits to the face, as you can see. He's in the trees. He can't fire fly out or anything. Snaking can vacuum. No, he doesn't have vacuum, by the way. He's going to eat through. Snaking. Looking to kill Demon right now with that Iron Shell. Fear's going to come through, however. Taking a lot of damage, however. Here comes J.O. as well. Going to get that kill on the side of Fogged. As he does run through, but now... Where Snaking go? He's back to the tower already, as you can see. So four heroes up here. Going to give more room for AUI 2000. EG does end up getting first blood, and they take a few kills in return. Bottom tower getting pressure here. The healing ward is in the trues right now. You can see Bambo is coming back to the lane right now, but they're going to try to take this tower. Scream of Pain is available. He's also got Sonic Wave if necessary. Wait a sec, he's going to take some damage. bottom tower is under attack. Universe getting recalled back to base. Oh, make it back to base just fine. AUI 2000 now with 28 CS here. He's leading the way in CS. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, Snaking grabbing a kill. Soul Catcher's gonna go. Malphite is gonna be used on Snaking. He's in some trouble. He can surge himself away. Nice tether, but not gonna save his life. In fact, Fog might be in some trouble now. Beat is gonna defensively use that disruption there. Might have meant to use that all offensively, but I'm not sure. AUI 2000. Just trying to stop J.O.'s farm. J.O. only at 12 CS right now. AUI 2000 at 29 himself. He's going to be at 30 in just a moment. There it goes. He's got his treads done. Universe is back in lane right now. He's sitting at level 6. He's sitting at approximately 23 CS. He's going to try to get this tower pretty soon here. Bambo's coming through with that healing ward. Of course, waiting. Way too sexy. Looks like he's going to pull. So they're not going to push just yet. Snaking is back in the mid lane right now. Well, I'm not sure what he's doing there. Fog's up in the top lane. He's decided to come up here. Level 6 for him, by the way. He's got Relocate, so now they can start to be very aggressive here. In fact, AUI 2000 doesn't even have level 6 yet, so that, that's that's pretty important that he's got that already. He's getting some solo free time up there, getting some experience with that creep wave. Demon sitting at level 5. He's not 6 yet. Once he gets 6, he's going to have Lasso, and uh, yeah. AUI 2000 is here in the mid lane. Looks like they want might want to ro relocate on top of somebody. They're going to try to go on J.O. J.O. is going to back off immediately. Realizes something's wrong. He does have that regen rune. Snaking is here. They might just try to push into the mid-tier tower. They certainly can do that. Iron Shell is up on the CK right now. He's level 6. He's got plenty of mana for either of these abilities. Roaming through beat is. There is a Smoke of Deceit still, uh, I believe. Yeah, Fear's got boots by right now. He's also got a black hole available. It looks like he'll be going for mech next, I'd imagine. Demon, of course... Almost level 6 right now, so he's going to have, of course, that last one just a moment. Down in the bottom lane, three heroes down here. Bambo taking a Shadow Strike. He does have Blade Fury, so he can Blade Fury out of a Sonic Wave if necessary, and I think that's what he's going to try to avoid. Snaking down here, trying to push this lane. Here's AUI2000 trying to push in the mid lane as well. J.O. cannot get close. He can't do anything in terms of getting farm, getting CS right now. But it looks like they want to take this tier 1 tower down in the bottom lane. They should be able to do so. Bambo cannot get close to try to deny it, so that tower will go down the first tower of the game, going to the side of Team Dignitas. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, AUI 2000 going for a Bracer. Probably going to be a drum eventually. Checking out the graphs real quick. With that tower kill, experience looking at it right now, it's about even. Uh, Dignitas is leading the way just a little bit, but in gold, they've got about a 1,000 gold lead because of that tower kill. Meanwhile, TP to the uh, Tier 2 tower. They're trying to do some damage to this tower, but I think they're going to get pushed back as there's a bunch of supports coming through. Jayo's looking to fight this. Elder Dragon form going to get popped. There's going to be the Dragon Tail as well. Way too sexy. In some trouble. Relocate on top of this. The Sonic Wave just barely hitting on Jayo. And, of course, on the side of the Shadow Demon. He's going to fall as well as Jayo. Reality ripped onto Demon. Does he have Lasso? Doesn't matter. Demon's going to fall next as well. Double kill for Universe. What a relocate coming up from the side of Fog. And AUI 2000. Universe doing some damage in his own right. But Fear, in the meantime, will take the tower top. But they do lose a lot of heroes there for it. They're not going to take the Tier 2 bot, not in deny range. They might just go for the Tier 1 tower mid right now. But a really good relocate coming out from Fogged and AUI 2000 to fight with their team. Turn that into a sort of 4v3 excuse me, situation. So 
So right now, Fear up here in the top lane. He's gonna have that headdress. He's got the buck, but he's actually finished up the mech all together, I believe. Nice job there to get that really early on. He's got 54 CS, 8 minute, 50 second mech, so Fear definitely in a good position. Fogged is way out of his element right now. He is alone. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Demons chasing after him. Is he invis? Oh, okay. It looks like he wasn't for whatever reason. So he is invised up. That <laughs> confused me for some reason. I was just like, how do they not see him? They keep running right past him, but uh, Fear might actually be in some trouble. Fog's gonna come in here with the side of the universe. Three seconds done, and Fear, in fact, will go down. Nice kill there. Wasn't able to get the black hole off. Even if he did, he probably would still die. Now, three heroes here in the mid lane. J.O. Bambo, as well as Beatas. There's five heroes right around this jungle area for Dignitas. They're cutting off the map here. You can see they've got plenty of map control right on this line, essentially. But up here in the top lane, Demon does have his lasso, trying to get a blink dagger, it looks like. They're going to go for this push right now. Bambo can't really omni-slash with, of course, the Chen creeps there. There's the Riata Rift. The stun coming onto Beezus right now. Four seconds stun. And the Vacuum coming in. Disruption going to save his life on the side of the Juggernaut. No, excuse me, on the side of the Shadow Demon. But he is going to go down. Demon Fireflying trying to get away right now. Looking to go on J.O. He's in some trouble. But there's going to be, of course, that uh, Lasso. Black Hole onto two. AUI in 2000 in some trouble right now. Test of Faith onto J.O. J.O. trying to get away. There's the Screw of Pain. Universe will grab that kill. Universe and Fear is going to go down as well. Snaking grabbing that kill. Four down on the side of EG. And Demon not able to do a whole lot there. He doesn't even get the kill on Fogged, I don't believe. Did he buy back? I don't believe he bought back. So Fogged still, uh, still alive, even though he got lassoed in that last fight. Bambo's back here, just trying to defend again. 11 to 4 is the score. If they could turn this fight around, they might be in some good positioning. But 4,000 experience lead right now. They're taking down this tier 1 tower. There's no fort. Well, there's a fortification. There it goes. Fort is going to fly. Demon doesn't have lasso. Bambo has his Omni Slash still. Beat is. Throwing some Shadow Poison out right there. Universe will take down that tower. So 5,000 experience lead, 3,000 gold lead right now. Relocate not even being used, I believe, for Fogged. They're going to go back and get some mana right now. Very good fight for the side of Dignitas. EG can certainly still come back from it. A nice black hole for Fear, but not enough damage coming out, as a lot of the heroes were already dead on the side of EG, unfortunately. Something to get a, It's really just tough, I think. It was a good fight for them. Mech almost done for the Darkseer himself. Still a recipe away. Speaking of the mech, it's done completed up for fear. We talked about that already. Smoke of Deceit going for them. Are they going to try to go for a Roshan or anything like that? This could potentially be uh, what they need here. They're going to go right into the Roche Pit. They, of course, have the Eidolons here. I don't know if they have a Medallion of Courage on them. They don't, it looks like. But they're just going to try to take this and... Uh, Dignitas has no idea this is happening right now. And I don't think they're going to be able to stop it as well. There's only this ward here, but of course they did smoke in the Roche right around here. So this is going to be exactly what EG needs to get back into this game. Should be giving it to Bambo, I'd imagine. Maybe J.O., I'm not really 100% sure. Or even Demon at this point, but... J.O. taking a lot of the damage here, tanking up this uh, Roche. J.O. will go ahead and pick up the Aegis. So now they're just going to go ahead and look for top tower, realizing that they missed their opportunity at Roshan right now. Roshan done at about 1150-ish. So it'll be up again at 12... Or 2150-ish, excuse me. Universe in some trouble. He'll blink way down to the bottom lane. Very quick ultimate orb. He's going to be going for that side device. TP now coming in from the side of Snaking. Doesn't have wall yet. He's only level 8, by the way. Elder Dragon form is going to go. Top tower is going to fall down as well. Fortification not going to be used just yet for the side of Dignitas. Demon making a path. Just trying to scout out and see Universe or Snaking. There's the uh, last one to Snaking right now. He's definitely in some trouble. The Malphite Snaking's going to go down. Meanwhile, Relocate coming in right now. Phantasm's going to go. Mech's going to fly. Demon in some trouble. Demonic Purge going at a few. Two seconds done on the beat is. Are they going to be able to get any kills here? Universe still alive. AY2000 definitely in some trouble right now. EG's turning this around. Beat is taking a lot of damage, but Omni Slash hasn't been used yet. He's already got no mana, so Universe is going to try to get out. Two down on the side of Dignitas. Fogged also back up here. Of course, the Relocate is done. Universe is going to blink out. And they'll take two kills. They'll lose none on the side of EG. Meanwhile, they're trying to go for a tier two. Demon. Almost got with Wisp Tether stunned there, but not going to happen. Universe on that Queen of Pain. Going to roam through the jungle looking to find something. He doesn't have a whole lot of mana, so... A good fight for the side of uh, Team EG. They'll pick up the tower and two kills on top of that. One of them being AUI 2000, the most uh, farm at this point, I think, behind uh, Universe. So He's going to have an armlet soon, by the way. 
2,500 experience lead. So that, that did provide them a little bit of an experience lead. The gold back down to 2,000 right now, and that means a Blink Dagger going for the Bat Rider. So Dignitas, they had a nice little early game advantage, but with that Roche kill, they got some experience, they got some items, and they got some kills. Sneaking, getting caught out of position certainly wasn't what they wanted, but they're still kind of in the driver's seat here. They need to take a fight on their own terms right now. Level 10 for the side, of course, of Universe as well as AUI. That armlet's going to be done in just a moment. Smoke gank again from the side of EG. They're looking to fight here. They might find somebody mid. Universe could be in some trouble here. Or potentially on snaking again. He has surge, but he needs to use it now. They see him coming through. Lasso, blink on snaking. He's in some trouble. Malphite as well. Snaking, not going to be able to make it out of there. Fog coming in to tether in. That could be some trouble. AUI 2000 is going to throw a tether stun. Demonic purge into AUI. He's in some trouble. Disruption, of course, onto the wisp. AUI 2000 trying to get out. The blade fury might be enough. Seeking napalm with that slow. AUI 2000 is going to use that armor to toggle. Double kill for J.O. in the meantime. AUI 2000 throwing another stun down. Two seconds onto Bambo. But Bambo should be okay. He's going to throw that healing ward up. And again, EG's turning this around. They pick up three kills there with that smoke gank. Very nicely done. Looking for a tier 2 tower now. They should be able to get this as long as they push the crew point back, which is right here, obviously, as you can see. Meanwhile, Universe, as well as the Chen, just trying to get some stuff done in the mid lane, just trying to push the tier 2 here. Not going to be able to do so as TP is coming in from J.O. right now. He's got that Aegis on him still, by the way. And that fight should give them even more experience. Yep, it's almost back down to even right now for experience. Gold, only 1,000 gold lead for the side of Dignitas, who had a really good early game right now. Snaking cannot get to his mech because he keeps trying to farm, but he keeps getting picked off here. He's going to want to try to take these Eidolons. Eidolons are going to get split up, unfortunately. Vacuum's coming through. Not able to get any of those kills, unfortunately, for Snaking. So, Universe up in the top lane. 1,000 gold, of course, for him. Down to the bottom lane, Bambo. Drum on him. Doesn't even actually have a, a second pair of boots yet, or a second tier of boots, I should say. He's going to be getting phased, probably, I'd imagine. Demon, of course, with that blink dagger. If he can get his uh, four staff, he'll definitely be in a good position. Way too sexy. He's just got arcanes as well as that ring of Basilius. Hey, does have that armlet, but he needs more. He's going to be going for drum next, I'd imagine. Urn is up on Io. Universe is going to take up that DD rune. Trying to get to, of course, the uh, Dyer's Scythe of Eyes. Is under attack. Tier 2 tower. Very low on health, by the way. Meanwhile, med again. EG is here. No smoke this time for them. They're just going to go straight through EG. They do have a smoke on Demon, but I, I think they're waiting to use it. This could be potentially a big fight here. They're just playing as 5 right now, realizing that if they get caught out with another relocate, they'll be in a bad position. So they've got to stay as 5. Throw a sentry down. They're trying to go for a Tier 1 tower here. Jail pops his Elder Dragon form. They do have the Black Hole with Fear right now. He's going for BKB next, by the way. This tower's taking a lot of damage from these Eidolons as well as from the Elder Dragon form. Fortification not available. Universe has that DD. They could potentially use it. He can jump in there with his Sonic Wave if he wants to. Gonna try to fight this. The tower is gonna go down. They cannot defend it. Demon coming through with, of course, the Firefly. They do get the Deny off. Universe actually got it. Interestingly enough. Fear is gonna back off right now. They're kind of alone here a little bit. If Dignitas can jump on this, but then again, they've got two heroes bottom right now. So Fog is here with AUI 2000. The tower is also very low. This tower... Uh, there is that fortification available, so if they just, just try to go for that tower, they'll certainly go down, I think. It looks like EG looking to stay together as five. They're going to smoke up and look for another gank here. It's worked for them twice in the past. Can they find anything else with this one? Might find the uh, Chen or Snaking. If Snaking goes down again, at least he's got mech this time, so he did complete that up. But here they come through. Looks like they're coming straight through mid, but now a smoke gank coming out from Snaking and way too sexy. But playing as five, EG's looking for everybody in the jungle. You can see Fogged and AUI 2000 are at the side shop here, just trying to stay out of harm's way. Uh, they do, of course, have some Radiant Vision here. They see the Firefly coming through, so they know that Demon is around here. I believe. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yeah, so they saw that Firefly. They know that they're there. AUI 2000 and Fog. they're going to meanwhile still go through. There's the Omni Slash. Fog into trouble, but the last was going to go through. AUI 2000 is going to try to TP out, but the Flame Break from Demon. AUI 2000 definitely in some trouble. Four seconds done on the Demon. They actually can't get to him. Demon's in the way right now. Demon taking a lot of damage. There's the Demonic Purge, the Soul Catcher as well. To breathe fire. He's going to Phantasm looking for a kill. Not able to get it. The Reality Rift, no, not going to happen. Bat Rider going to pick up that kill. Two more dead now. Meanwhile, they take the Tier 2 up in the uh, top lane. They're going to keep going for the Tier 3 right now, but here comes J.O. 
They're all TPing up here. Fear is making his way as well from the side. Maybe looking for Black Hole. Stun onto Snaking right now. That's exactly what they didn't want. Snaking in some trouble. He still has that surge. Going to send Snaking back home right now. Snaking will be able to get out alive. But Fear going to just go right onto Way Too Sexy. There's the Entangle coming out from that Chen Creep. But Way Too Sexy is going to go down as well. In the end, they end up taking about four heroes here. In EG. They're in a really good position now. BKB very close to being done. Just needs the recipe for Fear. Experience is even. Gold. Should be going down back to even in just a moment here. I'm surprised that it wasn't like that before. But playing is five. EG's already EG's able to get some uh, kills. They're able to get some stuff done. Able to take some towers, essentially. They do lose the tier two up in the top lane, but they're able to pick up more kills there. Dignitas, they're kind of letting it slip away from them here. They have that nice lead early on. AUI 2000 only setting at level 10 here. He wants level 11 for that second level, of course, of Phantasm. Not going to have it just yet, meanwhile. Universe is in Viz up here. He's going to look for maybe a solo kill if he can get a Scream of Pain and Sonic Wave off. There's this. Oh, they're going to relocate on top of everybody here. Fear definitely in some trouble. Fear is going to go down with that Tether Stun first. Fog getting that kill. Bambo looking for, of course, that Blade Fury. He's going to bring, of course, AUI 2000 back with him here. He's still tethered up. So Universe is going to get out just fine. So a nice pick off there on Fear using the relocate, using the Sonic Wave as well. So Dignitas will pick up that kill. EG turning it around a little bit, but still losing fear in the process. Of course, he didn't have a whole, whole lot of money. Yet. He just had picked up that Mithril Hammer, so not a big deal there. Meanwhile, Roche is going to be up in approximately a minute, thereabouts. Or two minutes, for that matter. They're trying to go for this tower. There's two Tier 2 towers left. This one's actually in deny range, by the way. They can deny this, and I think they should. I don't know if they know that it's low, but... AUI 2000 down here in the bottom lane. Continuing to try to get farm, but... Need a little bit more. Scythe of Ice is purchased up for the Queen of Pain right now. So Universe finally gets that long-awaited item. And that's going to be nice to have that hex stick can be really, really useful on any of these heroes. Even if you have a BKB, then go on any of the other four heroes. And another smoke gank from EG. And they just love smoking right now, but they have to stay together as five. And they want to get ganks done. This is what they need to do. And they might catch three heroes here. Way too sexy. Could definitely be in a bad position right now. The other two kind of have escape mechanisms. Universe has that blink. They're going to get wrapped around from the behind. Universe might be in some trouble. Way too sexy. He's going to get lassoed. Sheep up on Demon right now, but there's the Omni Slash. Hand of God's going to go. And the mech relocate on top of everybody right now. Can they pick up any kills? Black Hole, but immediate vacuum. Going to cancel right there. Four seconds done into fear right now. They need more. There's one down on either side here. Here, it might fall down to AUI 2000. Will he? Yes, he will. Universe coming in. He's going to use that Shadow Strike. Wall Replica up on the high ground. Going to create one of those illusions. Two for two right now is the score in terms of depths and life. Universe going to blink back up to the high ground here. That could have been a lot worse for Dignitas, the but they end up getting two kills out of it. They do lose AUI 2000, but Universe still alive. He's got that Hex again. He's got Sonic Wave in a second. He could potentially go for another kill here. Blink. Beat is in some trouble. Shadow Strike. Scream Pain already used. Beatus is going to survive here, it looks like. He's going to try to TP back home, and he'll make it in time. Double damage. Using that Scream of Pain and the Sonic Wave Universe. Not able to get that kill, unfortunately. DD up on Bambo, by the way. He's got a robot with the Magi done. So an interesting clash. Scores 14 of 14. It's got to be pretty even right now. Experience is way even. Gold, now a 2,000 lead for Dignitas. They still haven't denied this tower down here. I don't think they want to just yet. Demon getting a force staff very soon. Just needs, of course, that ring of regen. Beat is in jail. Jail trying to build to a BKB. Needs the Mithril Hammer. Beat is. He's already got uh, that Urn of Shadows. Regular boots as well as just wards. Hard fought game for both sides right now. Really, really difficult to just give and take here. Vlad's up for the Chen right now. So he's going to provide some life skill, which would be really nice to have for AY2000. Demon, kind of away from his team here. He can blink out of trouble if necessary. Dyer's middle tower Sending in the uh, Chen Creeps there into Roche. Trying to fight around Roche right now. EG, just taking uh, Team Ancients, essentially. Playing together. Having fun. Driving Ancients. 
we're having some nice golden experience. They could smoke in the rush potentially, but it might be on cooldown right now, honestly. They've bought so much smoke. It is, in fact, on cooldown. Not up for another 2 minutes and 56 seconds, so... Unless someone has one on them right now, which I don't believe they do. This might be the time for Dignitas to smoke and try to look for a couple of pickoffs here. You need a sentry ward here, though. ZG does throw one up here. Demon, gonna counter ward right now. Dyer's bottom tower has been denied. And there's the denial. Fear will take care of that tower. Finally, put it out of its put it out of its misery. That rider, in the meantime, getting caught out. Disruption coming through. Phantasm's gonna go vacuum back onto Demon right now. Wall's already on the ground. Demonic slow their ascent up onto the high ground right now. Demon trying to get away. Riata Rift up onto Beat. As Beat is trying to TP out, but he is gonna go down. Queen of Pain getting a kill from the low ground with that Scream of Pain. <laughs> Do they go for Roche is the question. They take the Ancients first. They still have that uh, Lasso available, plus they have the Force Staff. When you've got a Bat Rider up on the high ground in a Roche scenario, it's very difficult to take Roche. He's gonna Flame Break them, push AUI 2000 out. Slow him a little bit as well. Iron Shell up on him, they're backing out, waiting for AUI 2000. Demon doesn't have Firefly for another 8 seconds, but he can just blink in there if necessary. Breathe Fire gonna grab Vision. Back him down to the low ground, Demon in some trouble. 3 seconds done, they've got a fight now. They're thinking about a Sonic Wave onto the high ground. Universe coming through, Scream of Pain, no Omni Slash Burst. He's done, Hand of God coming through. Universe still alive right now, Fear thinking about Black Holing. He doesn't have that BKB, it might be coming to him right now. But it's a little too late. Roche is going to go down here. AUI 2000 should be picking up the Sages. Queen of Pain grab it instead. BKB done for Fear right now. Demon getting vacuum. What a play from Snake to vacuum him up on the low ground there. They knew he was sitting right there. They knew that creep, that tree, excuse me, was just killed. What a vacuum coming out from the King. It's a heal O'Neal with a couple of kills there as well. He's got that Aegis. He's got the Scythe as well. It's looking like he's going to be going for BKB next. Vacuum in. Jo's in some trouble. Looking for a Firefly. There's going to be that black hole onto three. Universe trying to stop him right now. A lot of damage going through. There's the mech coming through right now. J.O. is going to fall. Lasso up onto Universe, taking him out of the fight right now. Way too sexy. As low as so is Fogged. Overcharge going. Fear, three seconds up from AUI 2000. Bambo's going to take that kill, but he's going to get reality ripped in. Bambo in some trouble. EG, four down right now. Demon, he's going to sit far back. This tower is gone. The tier two tower. The flame break going to push them back. Universe still has that Aegis of the Immortal up on him. Dignitas, they take a fight, they take the tower, potentially even the tier 3 right now. They've got the Aegis still available. The only one to go down is Fogged up on that Wisp. And AUI 2000 is going to back off saying, let's not go for the tier 3 right now. They just got that Aegis at about 25 minutes, so that'll probably be gone at about 31, I'd imagine. And it's looking good for Dignitas right now. That last fight and Roche earns them 7,500 experience. It also earns them 7,500 in a gold lead. So, EG, they were looking good into the mid game. They stayed together, looking to fight. The smoke ganks were really working for their favor. But that last fight, even with a great black hole coming out from Fear, wasn't able to get it done, unfortunately. AUI 2000. He's going to try to go for a BKB as well. They realize the importance of that ability. Another smoke coming out from EG. Looking for AUI 2000. They might be able to cut him off. AUI is pretty quick though, so he'll be able to get out. Blink, the lasso, four staff back. AUI 2000 in some trouble. BKB is going to be bought. He does buy, of course, that Yasha as well as the belt of strength before he goes down. Didn't want to waste that gold, so he will get picked off there. Another smoke gank working well for EG again. I believe Fear getting that kill, absolutely. He also has that BKB done. Only used it uh, once there, as you can see. That black hole still on cooldown for another minute. Looking at items real quick. Snaking going for a plate mail, potentially getting that Shiva's guard next. Fogged has his Ghost Scepter, by the way. Oh, there's a DD right here. Someone needs to pick this up. This is important. Snaking's like, yeah, I'll take that. So we bottled up with that DD rune. Universe in the meantime continue to farm away. Universe has been the most important farmer, I think, for Dignitas right now. He's got that hex, he's got the BKB done as well. And that scythe is gonna start, with the Sonic Wave, excuse me, is gonna start being not as important. Sanjin Yasha gonna get purchased up for AUI 2000 right now. He decides to go for that. 
and that's going to provide him some extra movement speed, extra attack speed. Um, interesting that he decided to go for it. Relocate right on top of Jo right now. He's trying to get out. There's going to be that stun. AUI 2000 is going to get stunned right now. They're going to keep chasing. Back you back. There's the reality rift as well. Jo in some trouble. Three seconds stun. The rest of EG coming through looking to fight this fear. Doesn't have black hole. Not yet anyways. There goes. There's the Malphite. BKB is going to go. Fear wants a black hole at least on somebody. There's going to be the uh, reality rift. Phantasm, excuse me. There's the black hole onto two. Universe. Hand of God's gonna go. Not a whole lot of damage. Fear not getting any help from his friends. Juggernaut's gonna kill on the chin in the meantime, but Fear into trouble. Four seconds stun. Universe with a kill on the backside onto the Batrider. Snake can get another kill there. Reality Rift onto Bambo. Do they have a stun? One second they do. Bambo trying to fall game. Not gonna happen. Universe coming through. Looking for the stun. Not gonna find it. Double kill again for Snakey this time around as he picks off Beat is. Double kill for Universe. Team wipe for EG. Dignitas takes another fight here. And, the, and Fear with the black hole, but nobody following up. They get the kill on the chin, but that was who they killed. That was it. And that was it. And everybody else goes down from EG on the backside. Snake Inc's chasing after him. I mean, Universe is chasing after him. And they get the kill, of course. They wanted to fight. They wanted to save J.O. They just weren't in time. The vacuum from Snake Inc. Pulling J.O. back into position. Really did it for him, I think, in that last fight. They're going for the Tier 3 right now. Phantasm already used. Overcharge is going. Fortification is going to fly. No black hole. Hex onto J.O. right now. Going to take some damage. He does not have Sonic Wave. Vacuum. Wall up on Fear. Fear in some trouble. Fear going to mech himself, but he is going to go down. And that means that this is a tier 3 going down. If not Rax here. Flame break. Onto AUI 2000. TP coming in now from Bambo. They want to try to fight this. Screw paint's going to go. Riata Rift onto J.O. Four seconds stun as well. J.O. in some trouble. Nice disruption from Beatus to save his life. Flame Break. Universe Scream of Pain. J.O. Taking more damage. BKB on the Universe. Demonic Purge on the way to Sexy. He's going to get Surge from Snake King. Raxes are getting focused down by AUI 2000. Still 36 seconds away from that Phantasm. This should be the melee Rax, if not more. Last one on the backside coming out of the way to Sexy. Universe going right on top of the Demon. Demon, of course, one more right-click away from going down, but he'll survive. Just barely the vacuum, not anywhere close, unfortunately. AUI 2000 looking to take that Rax down. He will grab it. And that's going to be that. Roche not available for another few seconds. Demon making that little smiley face. AUI 2000. He's got Phantasm in 10 seconds, and I think that's why they want to fight. With that Phantasm, they can not only take the Tier 3, but they can take Raxus as well. Fear doesn't have Black Hole. He just used it not too long ago. They're going to back up, however. Universe is kind of low in health. My He's going to get earned from Fogged. But that's going to get stopped immediately. He's going to get sent back home, and he can TP back whenever. As Way Too Sexy just sends him back with that Test of Faith. So... And Dignitas looking very good. They've taken their first set of racks right now. 15,000 experience lead, 12,000 gold lead. AUI 2000 continuing to farm away. And Godlike Streak, I think, is still going for Universe right now. In fact, he should be beyond Godlike, I believe. Or close to it, anyway. Snaking also helped provide a lot of damage in that fight. He's got plenty. He can buy a Shiva's Guard next if he wants. He's got Regen Rune bottled up as well. We'll probably use that in just a moment to get some more mana. Shiva's Guard recipe is done. Anything on the Courier? There's the Mystic Staff, owned by Blank. Demon Edge up for the Queen of Pain. Could be going for an MKB, something like that. Ultimate Orb going for the Chaos Knight right now. Potentially going for Mantis style. Invis Rune, AUI 2000 wants this. We're just going to babysit it. Sanj up for IO. Shiva's guard finished up as well. BKB's done for, of course, the uh, Dragonite. Level 14 for him. Looking at the levels real quick. Level 18, of course, for the Queen of Pain. Level 16 for the Dark Seer and the Chaos Knight. They're looking to sit outside Roche. It's not going to be up for another few minutes here, so it looks like they're going to just push straight down mid right now. No Aegis available or anything like that, but they can potentially take this fight. Fear should have his black hole up by now. In fact, he does. Demon looking for a blink lasso onto Snake King. Snake King definitely in some trouble right now. Meanwhile, they're going to jump right on top of this. Snake King's going to go down. Phantasm's going to go. They're not even going to try to get away from this. Now they're backing off. Tier 3 taking quite a bit of damage. There's no fortification available, so EG will defend this with a nice pickoff on Snake King.
Fusible Blade is finished up for Bambo. It's going to have some nice slow power there. Mana Burn as well. Gonna... But that, that kill will delay the push into the Tier 3. And on top of that, they have to wait for the next Roshan, probably. So, get a net worth real quick. 14,000 for the Queen of Pain. 11,000 for AUI 2000. Uh, but he does, I think, disassemble that. He disassembled his Yasha real quick. He's trying to get that Manta style. There goes the Manta and Assange on top of that. So, just build that Assange essentially to have that for later. So, with that Manta style, with Phantasm on top of that, it's going to be a lot of illusions for Chaos Knight. Doing a lot of damage, especially if he keeps that armlet on. Snaking is back alive. They're looking to push back down mid. Roche is up in 30 ish seconds. They're all sitting here mid, looking to try to defend this. Damage. That's a pretty cool talent. Now DD up for AOI 2000. This is scary. If they fight with this, they can certainly do a lot of damage here. Just obliterates creep waves like nobody's business. Phantasm is not available, but he does have that Manta style. They threw down that Cinch Ward. You can see it right here in the Observer Ward on top of that. EG's just looking to have vision outside of their uh, Tier 3 tower. The Centaur Con, the double Centaur Con is here, as well as, of course, the Kobold Taskmaster. Taskmaster, give him that speed aura. The question is, are they going to jump on anybody here? Each blow sharpens my blade. Slow Siege going right now. The Siege Creep. Going to do some damage to that Tier 3 tower. Roche is now available. I think want, they want to take this Tier 3 down before they... Decide to head to Roche, or they want to get a pick off or something like that. Blink Dagger is purchased up for fear right now. That's going to be certainly nice to have. If we can get a good blink initiation, they can turn this around. There's the Phantasm. Manta might go next. Fortification a little late, unfortunately. So there goes the Tier 3 Tower in the fort as well. Jay going to pop his Elder Dragon form right now. AUI 2000 thinking about going back in. Hasn't used his Manta yet. There's going to be the Reality right now. Jay wants to trouble. The Fusil's going to go. Big black hole coming in from Deer right now. And the Omni Slash. The heal's going to go from way too sexy. Sonic Wave in the background. AUI 2000 getting a kill on Vita. His fear. His BKB is done. Jay uses his right now. AUI 2000 taking a lot of damage here. His arm that already been used. Mech's going to go. There's going to be the usage of the Lasso on the side of Demon. Two down on the side of EG. One down. There's the wall going as well. They're looking to just take the Raxes right now. AUI 2000, the only one dead on the side of Dignitas. EG trying to defend this, but this is going to be a melee Rax. At least, Demon looking for more. He doesn't have the last one. He just used it, but Universe, he's all out of spells right now. He's got some damage still, though. Fear looking for a Malphite. J.O. getting a four-step through. There's the Shiva's Guard as well. J.O. taking a lot of damage. Fall getting sent back to base. There's going to be the Dragon Tail. Is that enough to kill J.O. right now? Blink forward from your Universe. There's the Scream of Pain. He's going to pick up the kill on J.O. There's Beyond the Gone like streak right now for him. Demon in some trouble as well. Taking a lot of the right-click damage. Vacuum back on him. Demon is going to fall. Double kill for Universe. And they're not afraid to fight. Relocate. Fog gets sent back home. Heaven's Halberd done for him. Looking for the uh, ranged racks now. So that's two sets of racks gone. And EG's in a not the best position. They're living dangerously, especially if Beatus goes down here. And he will fall. Another kill for Universe. <laughs> Way too sexy, sending back, snaking home. And he'll TP back as well. Question is, do they go for Roshan right now? It looks like they're heading over there, as you can see. AUI 2000 is going to pop up his armlet. Maybe use his Manta style illusions to tank. We'll see. Universe coming through as well. No reaction just yet from Bambo or Fear. Black Hole was using the last fight, by the way. So it's not available right now. Omni Slash off cooldown in about 10 seconds. Roche should be going down soon. This is Cheese Roche, by the way. The third Roshan of the game. MKB is done for Universe right now. It's going to come through in a second. That Heaven's Hubbard is also going to be very nice to have. Beatus is back alive right now, but that is Roche. AUI 2000 taking it. Cheese is on the ground. They see it. They're going to ping on that in a second. It looks like Universe wants it, and he's going to grab it. So There's only one set of racks left, and that's the top racks. And they want to try to maybe take a fight first. They still have that ward there coming out from the side of EG. Universe has not died this game, by the way, in case you were wondering. 13-0 and 13. Pretty good stat line for the amount of kills we've had in this game. We're going to 
buyback right now. Nobody on EG has buyback, as you can see. The closest person is Jalen, and he's only 60 gold away from it. Everyone else is not really near it. So, if they lose this fight, they lose this game, essentially. Dignitas is getting ready. We're gonna push in. AUI 2000 is gonna throw up his Phantasm. Jo is gonna throw up his Elder Dragon form. Shiva's Guard's gonna go. Clearing that creep wave down. Fortification's still not available. They'll get pushed down. They gotta wait for the next creep wave, as you can see. Max is gonna go. Keep the illusions tanky and healthy. Mance is still available for AUI. We're gonna send in, of course, the illusions first. Sneaking's gonna follow suit. Tier 3 tower is gonna fall down. Overcharge is gonna go. CK will pick up that tower. Flame break. BKB is going to go for Jay. He's going to try to fight this on AUI 2000. Meanwhile, Universe looking to kill Demon right now. He's got him sheeped up. He's going to force half his way back out of there. He can't get there to lasso. Fear has his black hole. He's using He's thinking about using it for somebody. There's going to be the uh, wall replica going down. Immediately canceled coming in from that uh, Dark Troll Warlord. Fear in some trouble right now. Universe going to come through and try to take him down. He will pick up that kill. And another coming through. GG is called. We're going to go into the next game in just a moment. J.O. is going to get focused. Three seconds done for him. He'll fall down. They're going to bring Universe into the well. Universe is going to fall. No, the cheese. The cheese. The cheese saves his life. And that's it. So remember, this is a best of three series. Dignitas will take the lead 1-0 in this series right now. This is the Raid Call America EMS Cup number four the Grand Finals. There's Mega Creeps going through, and Dignitas will kill the well. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Second game coming up. EG's got to win that one to continue on forward and force the third game. Otherwise, Dignitas could potentially take it to nothing. So here we go. We're going to jump into the next game in just a moment. Thank you for joining us, guys. If you like the cast, check out nationalesl.com. Check out twitter.com slash dota2. And we'll be back in just a moment.